Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidModerX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys the method by open one your one i 0 to patch Google Wallet on the Samsung Galaxy S4. Now this is specifically meant for Verizon since Verizon always blocks Google Wallet on their devices, even the Galaxy Nexus, which is supposed to be totally stock Android. Uh, but this will also work on AT&T, T-Mobile, and Sprint. So if for any reason you can't get Google Wallet working on any of those devices, you'll be able to use this method as well. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you head to the link in the description. And that will bring you to the thread of Open One Your One Eyes Zero. And you'll be able to find this file. The JFLTE Verizon Wallet TouchWiz Jellybean 1.6 is the latest version, so you want to make sure that you do have that installed. Also, you'll need some kind of root file explorer. I use Root Explorer, uh, but you don't have to buy Root Explorer. You could use something like ES File Explorer and also make sure that you have a text editor. Root Explorer actually includes a text editor, so that's one reason I like to use that one. But you can use whichever one you like. Another note is you'll have to be rooted with a custom recovery installed. We're going to be flashing the file that I just showed you in custom recovery. So you'll need to take care of that first. I have videos on how to do that as well. I'll try to be sure to include links to that in the description. If you have Google Wallet already installed on your device, you should be sure to go ahead and remove that, totally uninstall that before you even get started with this. We don't want any remnants messing up the modification that we're doing now. Of course, if you're on Verizon and you're running the stock Android firmware, uh, that shouldn't you sh that should not be an issue. So, if you do have a version of Google Wallet already installed, you'll need to be sure to reset data on that. Like I said, it's better to start clean without Google Wallet, but if you do have it, uh, just be sure that you do reset the data in that application. And there are instructions in the link in the description on how to do that properly. Uh, so you'll want to be sure that you take care of that before you go any further. If it were me, I would just totally uninstall Google Wallet altogether. So from here, we'll go to Root Explorer. And we need to go into the System folder and find the build.prop file. We'll long click on that and we'll open that in the text editor. And now we're looking for the row.product.model and we'll change that to Galaxy Nexus. Be sure that that is correct there. Next you'll change the row.product.name which is right here. Change that to Yakju, Y-A-K-J-U. Then we're looking for row.product.device, and that should be Maguru, M-A-G-U-R-0. Okay, so we'll save changes. Uh, we'll save and exit. So you see it saves in Root Explorer, it automatically saves the first version before it's edited. Uh, so this would be your stock version, this would be your edited version. Okay, so after the phone rebooted, I went back into build.prop to check everything and make sure that everything was okay. I noticed that the autocorrect had changed up when I typed in Maguro and put like maturities or something. You probably saw that earlier on. So what I'm going to do is, if that happens to you, I, it's doubtful that it would, but if it did, uh, what you'll do is save this and reflash the modified wallet. So that's what I'm going to do now. And as soon as that finishes up, we will continue. Okay, so once we've made our edit to the build.prop, we'll go ahead and reboot into recovery. So we'll power down the device. When it's fully powered down, we'll hit volume up and home plus power to boot into recovery. So volume up, home, and power. Okay, once we're in recovery, we will find that file that we downloaded and install that. So we'll go to install and it should be in your download folder if you downloaded it directly to your device. We're looking for 
the wallet and be sure that that's what you're flashing we'll go ahead and flash that okay and then we'll reboot the system okay so when you're all booted back up you should notice a few new things in your app drawer you should have the wallet and the exposed installer the very next thing we want to do is head into the thread make sure that you grab this Paul's exposed wallet APK and go ahead and install that you may need to go into settings and check unknown sources and we'll go back into our downloads and install that real quick so now we'll go to the exposed installer we'll select the modules tab so we'll go ahead and check the google wallet <coughs> root and region check remover and once we've done that we will go ahead and reboot the device as soon as the phone boots up we'll need to open up google wallet and set everything up so we'll make ourselves a pin and we'll go ahead and load in our credit cards and everything like that uh, from there uh, we have a few more things that we need to do so continue to watch till the end of the video we're not quite finished yet almost there as soon as it boots up I'm gonna go ahead and input all of my stuff onto my Google Wallet and then we'll finish up the process okay so I'm gonna go ahead and open up Google Wallet in order for Google Wallet to work we we'll need to go into settings and turn on NFC now we should be able to open up Google Wallet okay so it takes quite a while for Google Wallet to set up it says five minutes uh, the app actually crashed on me twice before it actually would allow me to sign in so here you'll go ahead and sign in set up your pin and enter in your credit card information um, this way you can you know you know how Google Wallet works if you're watching this video you'll be able to purchase things using the NFC in your phone so it's pretty cool uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set mine up as soon as I do we'll finish the process Okay, so once we've got everything set up, we're going to head back into Root Explorer and modify that build.prop one last time uh, to the way it was before we started. So we'll find where it says Galaxy Nexus. We'll change that back. Capital S C H hyphen capital I 545. And then we'll change our Yakju back to JF LTE VZW and change our Maguro same thing JF LTE VZW Okay, and then we will save and exit and then just reboot the device and now you should have working Google Wallet on your Verizon Galaxy S4 I hope you've enjoyed this video be sure to click the like button subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the near future big shout outs to developer yeah. open one your one I zero for this method this modification you can find more of me at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.